day one here at the conference. Awesome. Yeah. And state your name and where you're from. Tim Wells from Altoona, Wisconsin. I'm from South Carolina. My name is Wayne McMullen. I'm Dan McShay. I'm Doreen McShay from Naples, Florida. Uh, my name is Alfred and... Hi, I'm Josh Cooley from Montclair, Wisconsin. My name is Joel Page. I live in Florida here in New Smyrna Beach. So I'm just curious, what are you hoping to gain from this conference? Better education for the kids. Especially in education, I am extremely concerned about common core. Okay. Race to the top. We've been using the political world in education and it's not about the Republican Party and all the Democrats and all the other two parties. It's about the kids. Our children will not grow up in the same way that we did, and, and that's very, very frightening. And we're, we're with this organization. I was going to ask about this. Libre, is that right? Yeah. And what do they do? Where are they based out of? We we are we support um, Americans for Prosperity, and, and because we have the same belief, but within the Latino Hispanic community in the U.S. Basically, I just wanted to kind of get some exposure well, no to what it's all about. Okay. Maybe meet some people that I follow on Twitter. Well, I went to Write Online last year. It was actually my first political conference, and. Uh, I liked it. So. Yeah. Are you a blogger, tweeter? I'm a blogger. Just okay. started blogging last year uh, after the uh, Scott Walker recall in Wisconsin. Okay. All right. Do you continue up with that blog? Yep. Yep. Rightwingnerd.com. The social media, it's important how we can spread the message, you know, send out the message. Just got done with social media activist boot camp. Sometimes conservatives, we, we, we don't tell people how we feel about certain things, and then liberals, they're very vocal about their ideas. So, so. Um, I'm here at the conference to tell some of these politicians that um, you know, I'm done with the Republican Party. I think the Republicans have basically got on board with the progressives and have no guts at all to really do what's right and what the people want them to do. This talk about a split in the Republican Party, I think some of that is exaggerated by the media, but also, too, we'd like to see more of a conservative thing come forward, especially looking toward the 2016 election. I'm totally not on board with that. So is it the immigration issues that you disagree with right well, now? Well, I think immigration is one of the biggest issues facing the country right now. You know, I'm afraid that uh, the way the current government is, is handling uh, the country. I mean, they're just stringing us along and stringing us along to bring 12 million people, or possibly more, nobody even really knows. We need to get power away from the federal government so the decisions can be made on a local level and benefit the people locally that want to make those decisions for their own circumstances, which differ all over the country. Profit group. Americans for Prosperity. Americans for Another pet peeve of mine. This is basically every conference I've ever been to. Yeah. No matter what the topic, it seems like the first people up to ask questions are always the dumbest people in the room. <laughs> hypocrisy is dead. You know, I need to ask him why he has become the face of All right. All right, well, thank you so much for taking a few minutes to talk with us today. Thank you. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs>